So you may have noticed, now that you're trying to read nutrition labels, that there's a difference between natural sugar and added sugar. Do those make a difference? Well, it's important for you to understand what those mean so you can make a conscious and smart decision when you're buying your food. Now, for most of us, it makes sense to limit the amount of sugar in our diet. And that's because we usually get too much. From the time we wake up in the morning to the time we go to sleep at night, we get too much sugar. And too much sugar can lead to a whole host of health problems. So by understanding what you're getting and what you're putting into your body, you can make a big difference in your health. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. And thank you so much for joining us this week. Each week I try to give you one tool or one piece of information to better your health. And today we're talking about sugar. Now the difference between the natural sugar and the added sugar on the nutrition label is pretty obvious. Natural sugar is the sugar that is inherently in the food when they prepare it or when you buy it. Added sugar is of course, duh, any added sugar that's added in. So in the processing or in the creating of that food, if they add sugar or maple syrup or agave nectar, anything that's added is added sugar. Now, honestly, your body doesn't care whether or not the sugar is natural or if it's added. Sugar is sugar is sugar. So when you buy a food that has sugar in it, even though it's listed natural or added, the total number is often the most important because your body doesn't care if it's natural or added. So I'm going to go through some examples today of different types of sugar in drinks and in fruit, and you can see the difference and where it becomes important. So let's start with fruit. Fruit, of course, has, <laughs> drum roll please, natural sugar. Those sugars are what make fruit taste good. And so today I'm going to compare oranges to apples. <laughs> Depending on the size of the fruit, each of these contains natural sugar somewhere between 10 and 25 grams. You know, some of those apples are really big that may contain up to 35 to 40 grams. That is natural sugar. Now, natural sugar from fruit is different than natural sugar in some processed foods. And that's where it becomes important. The natural sugar in the orange and in the apple is wrapped up in the cells within these fruits. And it also has fiber and vitamins and nutrients. So they may have significant amount of sugar, but there are two things that make the natural sugar in these better for you than the natural sugar you'll see in the processed foods that we'll talk about in a minute. Suppose this orange has 12 grams of natural sugar and a glass of orange juice has 48 grams of natural sugar. Well, obviously the lower is better, but this also has vitamins and nutrients and fiber that make it healthier than that glass of orange juice. Additionally, you're not gonna eat four oranges most of the time. You have to peel the orange, you have to get off the slices, you have to spit out the seeds if you got seeds. Those are the kind of things that will slow you down when you eat it and prevent you from just inhaling 48 grams of sugar like you would from a glass of orange juice. So natural sugar in fruit is a little bit different. That fiber in the fruit likely gives your body a little bit of a protective effect from the sugar by slowing the processing of the sugar and the absorption of the sugar. So if you drink a glass of orange juice, it's like sugar rush. But if you eat that orange, not only do you have to take the time getting to the sugar, but your body has to break down the cells and then it takes time to absorb it before your body gets the effects from that sugar. So natural sugar in fruit is different than say this. This is apple juice. This is apple juice with no added sugar. So ding, 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 healthier, right? no added sugar in apple juice. Well, not exactly. So even though the sugar in this apple juice is natural, not added, it's still processed sugar. So they've taken that apple and they've gotten rid of all the cells. They've gotten rid of all the fiber. So this is just pure sugar juice. It doesn't have any of those benefits that you'd get from eating the apple. So the natural sugar in the apple juice is no better than say, the added sugar in soda. Your body treats them both the same ways. So processed foods, whether they're natural sugar or added sugar, is treated by your body exactly the same. Your body is gonna absorb that sugar very quickly and it's gonna have an impact almost immediately. And that's different than the natural sugar in fruit. Now, if you have diabetes, you may even have to limit the natural sugar in the fruits with that fiber because that still may raise your blood sugar. But those natural sugars in the unprocessed fruits and vegetables are always better than the natural sugars in things like 
fruit juice. So when you're looking at those nutrition labels, look both at the natural and the added sugar, look at the total, your body is gonna treat them the same way. And the last thing to remember, these things may fill you up a little bit. These things, not so much. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Dr. Blake Schusterman. I'm a board certified kidney doctor and I'm also the cooking doc. Check out my website, cookingdoc.com for more recipes and health tips. Remember, everything we've talked about here today is not medical advice, it's just information. You can also check out my book, The Cooking Docs, Kidney Healthy Cooking, a modern 10-step guide to preventing and managing kidney disease. Thanks so much, we'll see you next time.